what the? Alrighty guys, Mark Delami here with another unboxing for you guys today. And this time I got Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. This is a only at GameStop exclusive collector's edition. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing. But before that, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So of course, it came in super damaged. This box is all beat up. And the box it came with, the shipping box, was really small. So it looked like they had to squeeze it in there, which I don't understand who did that. But here it is. So there's some shots of the game there. So this package only includes the digital download voucher for the DLC. And of course it comes with this amiibo, which looks great. And that still book right there. And apparently a uh, enamel pen, which is always nice and some stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and find out if this is worth picking up. Let's get started. All right, now that I got the wrapping out the way, let's go ahead and check this shit out. So it comes in just like that. It's mainly this big amiibo which I'm a big fan of me me bows. I do have a bunch of them and ooh, this is very nice. I don't know if this was an exclusive or is this the one that you can just buy on its own, which I believe it's the same one, but very nice. I got to open this up for you guys. And let's get the rest of the stuff out the way. So, we have the pin right there. Pins are always nice to get. The steel book right there. Oh, very nice. Okay, okay. And the sticker sheets right here. So I'm going to open these up real quick. All right, so now I got all that opened up. Let's take a look at the Amiibo. Very nice Amiibo. I'm loving the detail. Amiibos are great, man. Some physical DLC, which is always nice. But wow, this is really clean. I wish they had the Monster Hunter Stories Amiibo that came to the States. I mean, if it came to the States, that would have been great, but unfortunately it did not, and those things are expensive. Look at that. Wow. And here's the pin again. And a bunch of actually pretty cool artwork here on these stickers. Look at that. Very nice. I'm not the biggest Monster Hunter fan. I prefer Monster Hunter Stories. That's more my kind of gameplay there. But I know a lot of people love it. And the biggest reason why I bought this is this steel book right here. Okay. We have a matte finish here. Here's the spine and the back. So it looks like a full shot here. And the DLC is right here. Right there. So it gets you the full DLC for uh, Sunbreak. And yep, it looks like full art right there with that nice matte finish, some nice shine. Really nice artwork, actually. And very nice artwork on the inside. Still book logo right there and Nintendo to make sure it's official. Wow, this is a solid still book. But is it worth picking up? It can't be. To be honest, without the game, they should have included the game at least. They could have charged a little more if they wanted to, but just for the still book amiibo and the DLC, I don't think it's worth picking up. At least to me, I don't think it is. Um, if it came with the game, then it's definitely worth picking up, but it's just a bunch of just extra stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love the amiibo, but you can buy that on its own. The only thing you can really get in this set is probably just the pen, stickers, and the still book. And a $100 still book is not worth it, at least to me. But I don't know what you guys think. Did you pick this up? What do you think about this edition? And is this edition worth picking up to you? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video or like this edition, go ahead and click the like. If you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn on this notification so that way you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways that I do. And for all other things that I post, check them out on the social networks like my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link to those in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.